Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them stars A. Redman, Catherine Watterson, uh, Dan Fogel, Allison Al um Ezra Miller, and Colin Farrell. And what this film is about. It's about um, this guy named Newt Scamander, and what happens is, is he has this case full of, you know, these creatures and stuff. And what happens is, is these creatures get out, and now they're roaming around all of New York City. And now, basically, Newt Scamander has to get these creatures back before they're basically exposed to the whole world. So, what did I think of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Now, I'm a huge fan of the Harry Potter movies. I'll say that. I'm a huge fan of the Harry Potter movies. I really enjoyed them. I think they're great films, and you know, it's one of my favorite movie series of all time, the Harry Potter films. And I was going into this, like, when I first heard about it, I was a little bit skeptical about it, but then I saw the trailers, and it looked like it could be in a really magical film, and I was very looking forward to it. I was so excited to see the movie. I saw it. Disappointed. I'm, I know a lot of people have really enjoyed this movie, but for me... I found this movie to be so dull and forgettable. Honestly, it really is to me. It's such a dull and just boring and forgettable film. Like, seriously, like... Honestly, it's not a memorable movie. It's not really that good of a film. I did not enjoy this movie, to be honest. It really isn't that good of a film, in my opinion. But I do have positives with Fantastic Beasts. And my positives are... First being, I did like... Well, more or less, it's just two actors in the film that I honestly liked. I thought A. Redman was really good as Newt's commander. He was honestly the best part about this movie. I very much enjoyed him. He was great in the movie. You know, I did really enjoy his character. He did a very good job portraying Newt's commander. I thought he was very enjoyable. So, yeah, I thought A. Redman was really good. Dan Fogel was really good as well. I very much enjoyed him. You know, it was just really him and A. Redman I just really cared for in this movie in terms of the characters. So yeah, I really enjoyed Dan Fogel. He was very good. Um, there were some cool action scenes here and there with all the magic and stuff. There were some here and there. Um, you know, the writing's very good at points. There is some very good writing, you know. Um, I believe David Yates and J.K. Rowling did the writing for the film, I'm pretty sure. And um, they did a pretty good job for the most part. I thought the writing was pretty good with the film. Um, the directing's really good as well. I thought, uh, David Gates did a great job directing this film. You know, he really understands this world of the wizarding world and stuff. So, I definitely did think he did a great job directing the film. I will say this, the, fif the first 15 to 20 minutes, I was actually really enjoying the movie. I actually thought it was really good. The first 15 to 20 minutes, I was very much enjoying it. But then when we got to a certain point in the movie, that's when it kind of was taking a note step. So, yeah. Now, the negatives that I do have with um, Fantastic Beasts and Way to Find Them, and my negatives are, first being, I thought the rest of the acting was pretty just, everyone just acted so dull to me. Like, seriously, like, I didn't care for any of the other characters. Besides A. Redman and Dan Fogel, all the other characters were just forgettable to me. And just kind of just there. Like, they just needed to be there. That's all it really felt like to me. That like, Catherine Morrison wasn't really that good, like I said, She's just, like, just kind of there. She's kind of just bland, just kind of boring, in my opinion. I didn't enjoy her character. Um, Allison Skull, I, I I believe that's how you say her last name. She she wasn't all that great either. Even Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell, who's an actor I really enjoy. I don't know what really he was doing. Like, he seemed so bored in this movie. Like, seriously, it seemed like he just didn't really want to be there. But the one that gives the worst performance in this entire film is Ezra Miller. Holy moly, he's awful in this movie. He is just terrible. He gives such a laughable performance in this film. I thought he did an awful job. Seriously, all he's there to do is just cry and whine. That's all he's really there to do. And man, he's just bad. He was by far the worst one out of anybody in this movie. Um, next being, I did think some of the action scenes here and there were kind of underwhelming. I didn't really think they were all that exciting at some point. Like, I really did feel like they were just kind of underwhelming and not too great. Um, I did find the movie predictable at some points. Like, there was, like, for the most part, I really did find this movie very predictable. Like, as soon as I saw one thing in this movie, I knew where the whole movie was going. And 
that just kind of saddens me because I hate it when I do that with movies where I see one thing that's going to happen and I know what's going to happen in the entire film because it's just that predictable. Um, the writing with this movie at some points feels very subpar. Like, it really feels like a very subpar at times, the writing with this movie. The villain... It's like the writers just want to just throw in a villain. Like, seriously. It's like we need a villain for this movie. Let's just put in whatever this is. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, man. Listen, I know everybody's been saying this is a good movie and everything. And that's fine. But I don't know how anybody's defending these visual effects. These visual effects are garbage. My goodness. This is some of the worst visual effects I've seen all year. Like, seriously. All the creatures look awful. Like, seriously, I don't get how anybody's defending these special effects. They are so bad in this movie. They really are. They are awful with this movie. I was baffled. Like, seriously. In the other Harry Potter movies, they were actually really good, the visual effects. Here, I don't know what they were doing. Like, seriously, the visual effects are awful with this movie. It, it, really, they are terrible to look at in this film. And finally, my last negative with this film... The movie is so boring. Man, it's really boring. It takes forever, this movie. Seriously, it is so slow, this film. It really is. I felt like it was just dragging forever, this movie. Like, I felt like it was not going to end. It just dragged forever. There were some points where I almost fell asleep because this is how boring it was. Seriously, it was so boring. Guys, overall, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I was so disappointed. This is honestly my most disappointing movie of the year. I was so disappointed in this film. It is such a dull and forgettable film. So it's time for my official grade on Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. My official grade on Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is a C. It's, it's not that good of a movie in my opinion. I did not enjoy all that much. I know... Everybody's been enjoying this movie, and that's great. If you enjoyed this movie, that is wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed the film. But me, I don't know. I just didn't see it. I saw, what I saw was a very forgettable and very just dull and boring movie. So, yeah. So, what did you guys think of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Leave it in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you out later. Peace.